rivet uh, has gaskets and these gaskets get dried and then flaked uh, or cracked and you can see here it will crack it means that it will uh, give uh, space for water to penetrate to leak and uh, also the because the rivets are not treated uh, properly as the surface of the of the roof it gets rusted and actually with the rusting of the rivet if it is connected to the metal it will actually affect the metal and also promote the rusting in the metal itself and you can see that the color uh, around the rivet the color of the metal around the rivet usually we get the problem of having like leaks from rivet and then we try to seal this with with this sealant and usually we use inappropriate material in this case you can see it's like peeling by the time okay because actually rust is not treated so when it's not treated rust will be happening underneath uh, the uh, the rivet the, the underneath the, the coating or the, the the sealant and actually detaching the sealant from the rivet so you can see how it is detached here and also bringing water bringing water in silicon usually is uh, when it is um, uh, also exposed to U UV it will deteriorate with time and actually exposing again the, uh, the rivets so it's not convenient to use uh, and also you see here the, ac the activity of rusting is being happening underneath detaching the material in this case we have material called rivet guard and this rivet guard is 100% rubber material it is not water based it's solvent based and actually it will be injected over this hole having like a full bridging over the rivets and in this case it is also has like UV protection uh, and before doing this we have to mitigate the rust we have to treat the rust first uh, when the when the, treat the rust means like to spray a material called rust arrestor and this rust arrestor will stop the rust forever and actually convert the rust into primer metal primer then it can actually hold or receive the materials the coating or inc encapsulation material properly with a full adhesion and attachment bitumen based uh, patches or, or, or tapes tape and actually uh, with aluminum foil and aluminum foil meant actually to reflect the UV aluminum foil itself has been deteriorated the, uh, the, the material itself has been deteriorated and actually opening again the rivet for water, for water leak rivet guard is applied to all fasteners locking them into place this can be applied from a bottle or caulking gun Note how this specially gelled formula hangs on the head, going far enough onto the roof surface to create a perfect seal. It's especially formulated and different from seam guard, allowing precise application for your roof specialized needs. Uh, uh, gasket almost gone, and because it's gone, it, it gives room for the seam to be loosened. And if, if you try to actually work on this area the whole the whole seam will be open like that uh, if you look at this uh, um, images you, you will see loose uh, seams and in with this loose loose seams the, the rust is is, uh, is actually starting fastening rivets actually maybe adding another layer of rivet in between for example we have this row we have this row and we can introduce one in the middle with our encapsulation that would make these seams more tight and then when the final coat uh, will actually have no uh, such 
distance or like uh, loose rivets. Rain uh, might cause uh, water penetration, water leakage in such area. You know, in normal cases, this overlap is a big overlap and it's a good one. But the problem is the angle drain. So the drain uh, angle will bring, if it is in this direction, would actually drive the, the water inside the overlap to leak. That's why you tried before, uh, your maintenance team, uh, thankfully, tried before to, to, to use like sealants and so on. In this particular area, it's because actually you have big uh, sheet, so very, very long sheet. I think we need to seal this with the same technique, polyprene, uh, polycore, polyprene. In this case, this whole stretch from here to the gutter will have no seams, no horizontal seams uh, to bring water in. Oof, there's only two horizontal seams and this is fortunately uh, so if we seal this that all uh, for horizontal seams it's, it's also sealed now uh, sealed with uh, uh, silicone based uh, I think it, it, it would need also the same treatment with the three layers this is how we treat seams um, horizontal seams or vertical seams the same treatment we are using three layers treatment the first layer is seam guard the second layer is a technical textile from polyester to make the reinforcement the needed reinforcement and to actually um, prevent any movement in the seam in the future and also the third layer should be again seam guard to encapsulate the textile and make um, a complete membrane. Also, this, gutters. Um, uh, this rust area lost the problem, and also the seams might be detached. Also, the rivets that actually uh, attaching the seams together uh, might be source of. You don't have actually to change that or to replace it. The, the, what we can do is first clean, take all the sealants, the old sealants out. You know, this old sealants is like is acrylic sealants. And the problem with the acrylic sealants that it absorbs 20% of its weight in water because water based. And after this means that it, it means that the metal will be exposed to water as if you are putting a sponge over the metal. So the sponges are absorbing water and actually having this water in contact with the, uh, with, with the steel, with the, with the metal, and then the metal will get rusting actually underneath. The same as we have uh, said in the, in the rivets. Here this is a fit severe uh, hole here. And with that, we actually, if it is a small crack, only treated with polyprene material which is 100% again rubber material it's solvent based it's not water based it has 10 times um, uh, waterproofing ability than the acrylics it has 12 times strength as acrylics and so on and um, with with this big hole we'll, we'll do it uh, we'll treat it uh, putting like uh, three layers of treatment. The first layer is polyprene again. This is the same what we have done in flashing. And the second layer is uh, polycore, which is um, polyester textile, technical textile to act as reinforcement. And the third layer is polyprene again. And this sandwich will, sandwich will, will bridge any gaps, whatever the size, without actually any replacement. But all this should be done after rust arrestor to be sprayed and all rust, rusting process should be sprayed. Rusting process is happening underneath the, the coat because the coat is, uh, is acrylic. And here you can see easily the coat is peeling off because it, it has no UV stabilization. So against UV, it has, has no protection against UV and, and actually 
a rusting is, is happening underneath. In this case, what we are doing in the whole gutter is actually taking off all this old treatment with water jetting cleaning very well and then treating with rust arrestor to stop the rusting and then actually coating the whole gutter with one layer to two layers it's up to the, the budget of top seal and this top seal will give a full protection against uh, water and also UV and uh, thermal uh, shocks because actually uh, the, the tops, top seal uh, coating is a cool roof uh, material that uh, reduces the surface temperature of the metal by 40%. Usually, we have in the gutters um, patches, like some areas that has uh, rusted before and uh, has been patched with a metal patch. And the problem with the patching on, on only actually is the sealant again the same idea of the sealant this sealant if it is not good this would be uh, a, neg a negative point or like a, a weak point in the in the whole integrity uh, of the of the gutter and actually uh, to do this we need to uh, actually seal this and we call this flashing and with flashing we are introducing um, like a membrane that consists of three layers. The first layer is a material called polyprene, and it's 100% rubber material. As it, it's against UV as well. And then we have another layer of textile, technical, technical textile from polyester. And then the third layer is again the polyprene. And this will make sandwich of uh, flashing material that actually take the, the form, but not only actually sealing, sealing the joint, but actually bridging the joint fully, preventing any leak in the future. Uh, should be also uh, treated with, with rust arrestor, as we said, for, uh, for whole uh, vents, the heads of the vents also rusted, so need to be treated. There will be areas of rust and corrosion that need to be treated. Rust arrestor is applied to these areas with a simple low-pressure pump spray and allowed to work on the rust overnight and ideally up to 24 hours in some cases. This neutralizes rust rather than merely painting over it with a primer. The process is repeated if necessary, making a perfectly prepared surface for the new rubber roof. Finally, the entire roof is quickly and effectively cleaned. Also the seams of the, f of the metal flashing will be treated also with the same, the same manner with polyprene, uh, textile, and then polyprene. You see all these uh, joints between the, the metal sheets, the flashing metal, metal sheets. Flashing uh, is the main, main actually cause, cause of, of, uh, for, um, for water leakage. And uh, usually the flashing is metal flashing. And the metal flashing, because it's hard flashing, so it doesn't take the shape of the materials or the components, they are flashing. And also, uh, there's still gaps, very tiny gaps between the metal flashing and the elements being flashed. And with this, you have actually to introduce another sealant. The problem that sealants like uh, silicone-based or acrylic-based will not withstand the UV. It will come off. Take also giving room for water leakage. The, uh, the solution for that is again our flashing techniques. Flashing technique is actually two layers of polyprene with one reinforcing, reinforcement of technical textile in between. Uh, but in this case, particular case, polyprene only would be enough polybream will, will, will be like UV stabilized so it will st withstand the UV uh, for at least five years five years this is the warranty of the piece of the treatment but actually the lifespan is more than this might not uh, have leak now but it will in the future because as you can see here flashing material became started to to flick and to detach from 
metal, it means that it will expose the, the, the corner to the leak in the future. I mean, I mean, like, I mean like near future. Just to make sure that the water doesn't run back up. Don't have to fill the whole thing, just a, just a piece here and there. Right. Now what we'll do is put some seam rivet guard over the flashing and into the corrugates. As again, don't have to be uh, too fussy about it. Just make sure you put plenty on in the grooves. Your roof obviously has got to be uh, clean and dry. So, you know, most roofs are pressure wash sort of thing before any of this happens. Now we'll put our polycore in. What we have to do on a corrugated iron section now is use a pair of scissors to cut each ridge line and then work it down with your fingers into the grooves. This is how we treat seams, um, horizontal seams or vertical seams, the same treatment. We are using three layers treatment. The first layer is seam guard. The second layer is a technical textile from polyester to make the reinforcement, the needed reinforcement and to actually um, prevent any movement in the seam in the future. And also the third layer should be again seam guard to encapsulate the textile and make um, a complete membrane. parts in the metal is rusting. There will be areas of rust and corrosion that need to be treated. Rust arrester is applied to these areas with a simple low pressure pump spray and allowed to work on the rust overnight and ideally up to 24 hours in some cases. This neutralizes rust rather than merely painting over it with a primer. The process is repeated if necessary making a perfectly prepared surface for the new rubber roof. Finally, the entire roof is quickly and effectively cleaned. Using an airless spray machine, this time with a 31,000th tip and 10-inch spray pattern, the membrane is carefully applied to a uniform thickness across the entire roof. Alternatively, jobs may be applied by long-handed roofing brush, working in a systematic fashion. Applicator care is given to coat all sides of the seams to maximize protection. Top's base coat provides a contrasting color, making it easy for your applicator to provide proper coverage. Work continues, working up and down the corrugations to assure even and total coverage for a beautiful finished job. The base coat is allowed to dry before the finished coat of top seal is applied in the same way. The applicator angles the spray tip to ensure that both sides of the profile or corrugation receive the correct amount of product. The Top System 1000, designed for all climates, all environments, and all looks. cools your roof, reducing further stress and maintenance needs. As a bonus, as shown by Energy Star research results, a building's interior can experience real cooling savings by using a product that has earned the Energy Star. The result? Savings and extended service life for your existing roof.